Right as we're starting to feel a, did you say not a, a cool front? Is that what Ashley called it? Not a cold front, but a cool, a right? Cool front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't say that this is incredibly cold. Our high temperature on Saturday will be 51. Not Our not average cold. is 52. Mm -hmm. So we can't really call it cold. No. Because this is just too warm. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't think it's too warm, but it's too warm. <laughs> Especially in the morning. It's feeling it chilly in the morning, though. Yeah, yeah. mornings that. and nights are yeah. definitely cold, but the afternoon, I mean, today making it to the mid to upper 60s. That's not bad. That's incredibly yeah. high. Now, there is a cool down coming our way for the Thanksgiving holiday, but that number, um, as it cools, I think Thanksgiving at this point looks cold, not cool. 65 official high temperature for today. Um, numbers coming in at 68 for Bloomington, about 66 for you in Columbus. Numbers uh, today above average, right? We were expecting numbers to be just a little bit warmer. Still possible that we get an update with numbers about a degree or two warmer. 70s for many locations to the south, like Washington, Indiana, over into Evansville there. So, hey, we're warm. And a beautiful view at the zoo, uh, Christmas, uh, nights of lights already setting up there and looking beautiful. I wanted to show you this because this is really kind of just telling this forecast. It says everything that we need to know right here. What is this? It's a lot of colors, right? There's orange, there's black, there's reddish colors in it. This is dry air. This incredibly dry air is sitting over our area. This is the reason that we've had less than a quarter of an inch of rain for the entire month here in November. Here we are uh, in November in the middle of it and still no rain. We average over three inches for the month. This dry air needs to dissipate before we can see that rain move in for us on Friday. Will it happen? Well, I'm expecting to slowly begin to saturate the environment by tomorrow evening. We'll see how that plays out. I am expecting rain. I think rain will fall. The timing of that may be pushed back depending on how dry the air is. Right now we're at 61. I promised you yesterday and the day before that we don't hold on to warmer air when we have the sun setting. 518, 69 right now as you look into Evansville. Winds are light. They've been variable and a very little influence to this forecast. I'm not concerned about the winds until tomorrow night. Then the winds will pick up and they'll be a, a big factor in the forecast. 60s falling to the 50s, then the 40s. Tomorrow morning you will wake up once again to the upper 30s and low 40s. You heard Phil mention that the mornings are chilly. He's right. They're going to remain that way because that's pretty normal for us to drop that low with clear skies and dry air. 65 is what I'm forecasting for tomorrow, but once we get there, changes will happen as we'll have a transition day. Cooler air begins to sink in. And although I'm forecasting 60 on your Friday, I'm expecting to hit 60 before the lunch hour. Numbers will drop from there. Rain chances will begin to increase over the area by the afternoon hour. So big changes. Here goes the rain. This model saying Friday morning, a stray shower or two. I think the atmosphere not saturated for that Friday afternoon and evening. There we go with some pretty good rain moving over the area, adding to the rainfall totals. It doesn't last long enough, and that's kind of our problem as we look at this forecast here. Let's skip ahead to the Circle of Digital Media eight day forecast. Temperatures in the 50s through the weekend. For now, I'm forecasting numbers in the low 40s for Thanksgiving Day. We'll tweak this forecast as we get a little closer.